Okay, welcome back everybody to Coffee and Art in the Morning. So I'm going to finish up or work on trying to finish up um, Caboose and Donut. This is a girl I follow on Instagram and she's had her, um, oh gosh, the name of the kind of spaniel just left me. Maybe one of y'all can remind me of the full name, Cavalier, uh, Char Saint, what is it, Charles Caval Saint Charles Cavalier Spaniel? something <laughs> anyway i follow her and i love these dogs this is the one she's had for a while caboose and then she got donut i haven't done all i have is just some base coated paint here and now i'm gonna and i started the eyes on caboose so i'm going to just start doing a little bit of color on it i did a there's on my instagram a 30 second or a minute video of me working on her cam took a little video of me doing starting the painting process king charles king charles thank you king charles cavalier spaniel thank you yeah and uh but it's not just that the dog in herself is so pretty but she, her personality if you do not follow caboose on instagram oh my gosh let me get the it's an underscore in the name too let me um let me tell you here. Hang on. Caboose underscore and underscore donut. D-O-N-U-T. And oh my God, it's just so, they're so cute. You just have to follow them. <laughs> So I'm going to zoom in a little bit more. Hopefully it won't get too fuzzy. It's a little fuzzy. Let's try to focus it again. I do my best, guys. I do my best. I think that's probably as good as it's going to get right there. <laughs> so I did get um, her eyes going here. There we go. I know they're so she the, and you why do you see her playing outside she has such personality okay so I got the eyes started as you can see there I think this is probably close enough so I'm gonna just start working in the details this is how I started them out with just a little base coat of acrylic paint and um, and now I'm gonna start shading Get my little pencil sharpeners over here. Let's take all these out. I got too many in my bowl. Little bowl of pencil sharpeners. And I'm just using Prisma colors this time. I need to. The next one I do, I'm going to uh, do with Polychromos, because I'm trying to do a little here and there with my polys. Um. So I'll just chat and and color. Hopefully, y'all can see it a little bit. If you have any questions, put them in caps. I need darker. No, I don't think I'm going to see what black cherry does. Eh, maybe black cherry might work. just need a darker reddish brown. So if y'all want to talk about everything y'all are working on, or I'm just going to work on her for about an hour just because I need to. And, uh, A little bit of beige in here. Yeah, it has Janet, have you have you used your polys much, Janet? You're still jelly plating, Terry? Terry, I didn't see you and your hubster go out this last weekend. I love it when y'all go out. <laughs> okay, it got really bright. Let me see about closing my blinds here. Mm. 
this needs to come out a little. Just watching you and having my coffee. But need to get to work on your home movie. Oh, yeah. What are you doing for the get your gifts for the home movies, Jean? What home movies have you... I mean, because it seems like you did that already. Not for gifts, but that you already put them together somehow. Somehow, maybe I'm thinking of something other than your home movies. But I thought you'd done some home movies already. I know you've done some because I've seen, seen them. So are you just making some copies for your family for Christmas, Jean? Or what? Julie Tope has been working fearlessly on your syllables binder and making a planner for 2018. Hubby thought I was crazy sorting postage stamps into categories. I But see? But see. I don't know why I say that. It's... You, you know, there's just so much you can use, right? And and Kate the Skate posted some on Twitter of, um, of a few pages that she's been starting up with um, her syllables. Jean, putting them on DVD and thumb drives. Ah, done a few here and there, but lots more to do. Okay. Yeah, this is a time for me to be able to talk because I can talk and do this. I don't know how interesting it is for you guys to watch, but <laughs> but I can chat and do this at the same time. Just gathering bits with the start of the day. Yes, yeah, so that's, you know, and you don't have to really, you can do it however you want. Some people like to plan way ahead and get all their pages, you know, all um, ready for 12 months or 52 weeks or just, you know, start with just the months, um, you know, a page for the, to start a month with maybe, you know, I think that just for me, it would be easiest. Of course, I'm doing all kinds of extra pages because I'm doing lots of samples and things, right? But um, have the 12 months with the dividers, like with the plastic dividers. And you saw I put washi tape all over them and, you know, stuff like that that can peel off and be used. So the dividers can be your months. And then 52 cardstock pages, one for a week each week. That being said, you can always have more than one page for the week. You could have one a day if you want, but your binder is going to get real thick if you try to do 365 pages. And most of us are probably not going to have time to do a page a day. I'll be good to do a page a week with supplemental um, supplemental you know, sheets. So, yeah. But I'm, I'm excited about doing, you know, the whole binder thing. And the thing is, is with a binder, no matter what kind of, it, whether you do pages like syllables or not, the idea of a binder to me 
uh, is the easiest because you can move things around. You can tear things out. You can switch things around. That, to me, is the whole, the best thing about a binder system. Hope y'all can see it looks a little flashed out, but I, I hate to get it too dark, but it is a little flashed out. Let's turn the brightness down just a tad. There we go. It's a little better. You're doing CJS. I'm sure I know what that is, but I can't think of it. CJS. Dorothy. Sharpening over here. I just, I know, to me the binder is just so much, you can just, it's so versatile, you know. Creative Jump Start. Okay, I've seen ads for it, but I don't really know what that is. Other than the y'all posting, uh, you know, creative. I didn't, I didn't know what it was till you said. I've just seen the ads for it. So what is it involved? I mean, what does it entail? Y'all can tell me. Okay, I need some lighter color coming down here. What do you have to do in it? No, th there's, this is only paint so far. This one is only paint. And the only thing I have pencil on here is I got some on the nose and the eyes and you and what you've seen me just now do. The rest is all paint. They're all talking about different ones that are out there. Life book, Wanderlust. Um, I've not done any of them, guys. All I ever see is what people post of their pages and things. Is nobody going to tell me? <laughs> or do y'all not know? In the creative, what was it called again? Let me go back. Scroll, scroll. Creative Jump Start. Pacola said, my syllables binder is my go-to all-in-one creative design center. Exactly. And, you know, I'm sure that whatever projects y'all are, other ones you're doing, Life Book, Wanderlust, what was it again? <laughs> um, creative Jump Start. I'm sure you can put any of those in a binder, right? Can't you put any of those in a binder? I 
then her whiskers I'll do with the Posca at the end. Jump started a mixed media class. Paula did a lesson in it. Oh, a couple years ago. Oh, so it's been around a while. I don't know if I've ever heard of that one. I heard of I've heard of Life Book and Wanderlust, but I don't know if I've ever heard of Creative Jump Start. Y'all can put a link in there if y'all want. Who's hosting that one up? And how many years has it been going on? Does anybody know? Because I don't know. I don't think I've ever heard. I mean, I say I've never heard of it. I probably just don't recognize the name. I'm waiting for information. Nobody's forthcoming. <laughs> I know there's a lag, but yeah. Okay, let's see. And I'm just using these colors in my hand for now just to get some main colors down. Creative Jumpstart has been around maybe five years. Okay. Thanks, Sassy. <laughs> Can I need a little bit of yellow ochre in her face. That's the yellow. I don't want yellow. Let's see. That's the one that I was having trouble keeping sharp. Let's go with my little stub here. She needs yellow ochre in the fur. Flashing out the color. Oh my gosh. Please stop, camera. Please stop. <laughs> now, of course, my hand looks awfully pink, but the colors in her are right now. My goodness, man. Let's try that. Natalie, Natalie Kalbach does creative jump start different up creative jump start and can tell you different ways to jump start your car <laughs> okay Kathy <laughs> we'll put the link in there somebody for the girls that may want to know that may be something they want to do Jean is this I mean uh uh um, Eileen, is this your first year doing it? And Paul, I mean, um, uh, Jean, did you do it when Paula had a class in it? I don't remember Paula doing one of those. I remember when she did the, um, 
magazine, you know, the DVD and the magazine paper, what was it? Cloth, paper, scissors series thing. I don't remember that one. It's just going to need a little bit of yellow in her fur. You did the year Paula did. Okay. just taking my time here and chatting with you guys. I thought I'd work on this for about an hour. I should probably go and do his eyes because that's probably more interesting to you guys than watching me do the fur. Um, Caboose has like one patch of brown on this side of her cheek and then this one's all white and then it's white and I put a little blue base down here that I can go white over. That's the shadows under her wrinkly chins. Chins? <laughs> I'll go ahead and do uh, Donut's eyes, because that'll probably be more interesting to watch. Let me get a few of these curls in her fur going here. And these need to be cream color out here. How did you learn to do these portraits? Self-taught, real angel. Um, I've just done them so long. I've been using color pencils, I would say at least 30 years. Probably more. But um, just doing a lot of them. Doing a lot. I mean like hundreds. <laughs> you do a lot of them, you just get better and better, you know. I've done flip through some of my portraits. I'm not going to do it now because I've done them so many times. But, uh, yeah. And you always just get better at it every time you continue. I mean, do more. So I'll stop on the fur and stuff for right now. And let me do um, Donut's Eyes. Okay, let's see. I'm going to need white, blue, black, and probably a gray. We'll go with these. Let me sharpen them up because I want nice sharp for the eyes. Oh, all the teachers. Well, name some of them, Eileen. Name some of the teachers. Because you're doing the class. And it's only $40. That's a good deal. We all go check it out. Creative Jumpstart with Natalie. Is it called back? Is that how you pronounce it? Y'all go look. Go look. I'm sure there's stuff in there. All right. This is getting in my way. My hand is resting on it. So I'm going to go ahead and tear this out of my book. And I'll just turn it around so that it's I can rest. My, there's nothing that I have to rest my hand on. And this is just the Strathmore Tone Tan 9x12, I think it's 9x12, paper, perforated. I'm going to tear the perf off here. And I just like doing my portraits on this. And I'll show you the cover of the book in case you hadn't seen what it looks like. <clears throat> looks like this nine by twelve fifty sheets this is the same one I did those bees on okay I got a little bit in here didn't better cut that not tear it I don't want to tear the page a little piece didn't Oh, Di oh, Diane Wake, uh, Dina Wakely. I know, <laughs> I get them mixed up. Uh, oh, that'll be fun, Jean. That'll be fun. 
Well, I mean, well, I don't know if you're taking it, Jean. I saw that Je uh, Eileen is. All right, so let's go ahead and start. I think I'll start with some white here. And I'm going to start doing the eyes here. I just blocked them in with paint. So I've got to do all the. Reflections. And in this picture that I'm looking at. The reflections in her eyes are very. It's like her eyes are almost watery. They're so shiny. So i got to get really shiny eyes going here. round black outlined eyes you might take it Jean okay well I hope they'll post projects that y'all do I mean, if it's a creative jump start, then I guess obviously you have to do your own projects if it's just a jump start, right? That sounds fun. You should be teaching, not taking. I'm not taking it, Dorothy. I'm not taking it. I'm just curious about what y'all were talking about. Yeah. No, I don't have time for. <laughs> I don't have time for any classes. That's for sure. Is there a bump right there? There's something there. There's a little scrap of paper or something under there. Hi, CB. How's it going? San Antonio sister. <laughs> There's the mailman Eileen. But I think your your book will be coming UPS. I don't think it could have got here this quick unless it was UPS, right? So, yeah. Eileen sent me the Dean. Okay, the Dilusions. Let's just call it Dilusions Diary. <laughs> Weather's wonderful. Need to call mom. Sometimes she watches. She says she watches sometimes in the morning so she can see what's going on with me. 
she can call. We message all the time. It's not like she can't know what's going on. You know? <laughs> That's funny, though. I will I think it will come UPS but not with your typical yeah 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 UPS usually comes well he can come at any time UPS as a matter of fact I hear a truck coming down the street no, I don't think it was him Again, I don't know how interesting this is and how much detail you can see, but I need a little bit of uh, some yellow ochre on this side of the face. And the reason I can put this dark color over the, this is paint, remember? So pencil will go over the paint. It won't go over pencil. Pencil, you know, I've shown you all my little chart before. <laughs> Okay, a little bit more. She has some little fur over here, a little bit of white patch of fur right coming off of that eyebrow here or this color right there <clears throat> cats tell you on Amazon your cats tell me to order from Amazon each week as they love the Amazon boxes <laughs> ah that's cute Eileen <laughs> it's funny diva and the tree she's uh, you know of course we adopted her she was five years old and she'd already been declawed which you know I don't like but it she came to us that way and uh so she doesn't try to climb the tree or anything. Of course, she's a totally indoor cat. She does not go outside at all. Um, but she just goes and, you know, the tree, the, it's, a, it's a live tree. And uh, it's, I have a wrap around the, the tree pot, if you will, a tree stand. And, uh, and so I just kind of pull it back to water it twice a day. And... Uh, <laughs> she just sits in the back behind the tree on that little claw thing. It's like a velour claw thing. And she just sits on it in the back back there. She doesn't do anything. She just sits there. But 
It's really funny. Okay, let's get the black. And then the black comes way down here. And then some dark sienna. Shape her little knot, her little nut muzzle. in there. Okay, back to the black. No, let's see, I think I need some blue fur in her nose. Just working my way around the whole thing. I gotta sharpen this little stub. Oh, Wendy, you must know every single color in the Prismacolor. I do, but I don't. It's I don't. When I pick up a color, I couldn't tell you the exact name. Like, is this goldenrod or is this yellow ochre? You know, I don't know the numbers. I don't. I never have really tried to learn all the numbers and everything. Now, if I, you know, some of them are more familiar than others, but I don't go by the number. I go by the color. So I don't really, <laughs> I don't, I don't have a chart of them or none of that. I just know which colors to pick up. And the sun's hitting the top of her head over here, so it's really white because the sun's hitting it right here. I mean, even though it's a black dog, you'll see if you look, you know, practice looking. You know, your art is so much seeing. So practice looking at... Um, Look for colors, like on a black dog. Just get a picture of a black dog, like a lab or something that has a shiny, sleek, black coat. And see how many colors you can spot in the fur. You will be surprised how many colors are in that fur.
<clears throat> Every time I go somewhere, I study the people's faces and how the shadows fall and stuff like that. Yeah. And whenever you get a chance, try to do, even if it's just a five-second sketch, you'd be surprised at how much you can learn by doing quick gesture drawings. It doesn't, you know, you don't have to say, oh, well, it doesn't look like that person that just walked by. The point isn't even so much to make it look like the person, but to do the practice. It's the practice of it. And also, when you're doing a drawing, if you're trying to do it realistically or accurately, I should say, turn your picture upside down and your reference and look at them both upside down. And you will immediately see what's wrong with your drawing. Got these little orange fuzzy nose right above the Okay, let's see that shape right there. And I'm approaching finishing my first box of prism because I am hooked on colored pencils, still overwhelmed with the colors. Some colors look so much the same. Yeah, but those are the ones that like it's like a marker when you layer.
a little pencil mark there. Let me get to see if I can erase my little pencil mark. My mom had a Cavalier King Charles. Poor thing. Wasselman. I don't know what that means, Meep. Miss Q. I have eight different sets of pencils now. I love to mix and match. I do too, but I have to know. When I do portraits, though, I have to know what's going to happen. And I'm not familiar enough with all the other pencils to know what they're going to do. Yet. <laughs> Because I've just used Prismacolors all my life. Anyway, guys, I guess I should go ahead and stop. Hang a head out. Get some more stuff done around here. I kind of wish... Oh, well, maybe... Let me try to do a little bit more so I can show you how the whiskers look. Because you really can't do the whiskers till you're completely done with everything. I was hoping my, uh, my uh, UPS would come... But I don't think they're going to be here in the min in the minute. This ear has lots of white hairs on the edges in the sunlight here. Still a puppy, so it's got little puppy fur, you know, puppy ear hairs. Not sure it will take time to learn. No, no, I don't work from memory. No, I, I'm looking at a photo. I do not work from, I don't have that good of a memory, especially if you're doing portraits. People don't want you just to make it up. When you do a, a pet or a por person, you can't just make that person up in your head. <laughs> you know what I mean, Vern? You have to have a, you have to have a reference, whether if you're, you know, you want to draw from life and have the person sit there for you. But uh, if you're doing a portrait, you have to you have to have pictures. Mm. He's got a couple little whiskers here. I gotta get down here in his little chinny chin chin. Cause I'm not drawing their bodies. They have their bodies other than their neck here. I'm not drawing their bodies, just their faces. And then the white fur on this side. I'm just, I like Prismas because I'm just used to them. I just know them, you know. No, it's not easy to, well, I don't think they erase. You can erase a layer or something, but they, you know, especially depending on how many layers you get down, you can't really erase. You can get some off, but I can't even get the pencil off this paper here.
so you see his little eyes and then I'll probably take my Posca and just get that one bright highlight in the eye there with the very brightest there's a couple bright ones but that's probably the brightest and then probably right on the top of his nose here Get those very pure white. Gotta be careful. Thanks, Min Mink. So yeah, they got at least got their eyes pretty well done. This one needs a little bit more um, blue over here in this corner, though. So anyway, guys, I hope y'all enjoyed this week's shows. Monday and today. And I need my light. Where's my gray? Here it is. This needs to be a little knocked back. So maybe I'll throw in a must, I mean a, a whisker or two somewhere so you can see. know I missed some of those comments but on on this one she has obvious let's see if I got enough brown on the under paint here I'm gonna have enough underneath before I go over the top because her little hairs on her mouth kind of come over let's make sure it's working come over the top of her lip Get a few of those. And then the whiskers, like she has a couple whiskers that come out like across her face like this. And really I probably shouldn't be doing them yet because I haven't got her ears or anything. But her whiskers, I'll go ahead and just kind of show you a couple. Because they come across her face and they go out into her ears like that. So that's how I'll do the whiskers. Now I don't really want to do them yet <laughs> because I'm not done with the ear. But she'll have a few little hairs coming out like that. Just so y'all can see a few details there. Thanks, Kathy. And then on this one, let's see, she has a couple like really little ones up under her nose here. She has a couple little stray ones. A couple over here. And she does have a couple coming up off the top of her nose. This is what you do at the very end though. See, I shouldn't be doing this yet because I'm not done with all the fur underneath. You got to have the fur underneath done before you add these little highlights on top. Otherwise, you're just going to be trying to paint around them, and you don't want to do that. <laughs> uh, okay, let's see. And then she'll have a few kind of sticking out and going across her face, but I don't want to do those yet. But there's a few little details, and you can see her eyes. 
So yeah. One last little bit of the ring and the eyes. Turn it here. You want that nice and sharp. Make sure I get them both here. Okay, so I think I'll stop. Thanks, guys. All right, well, y'all have a great day. I'll upload the this video in the flow book um, flip. And, uh, yeah. Thanks, guys. We'll see you later. Thank you. Thanks, everybody, for coming by. Thanks for watching over on uh, on uh, YouTube. I'll take a little um, work in progress picture and uh, post that on Twitter. I'll let you know, Eileen, when the UPS hunky man comes. <laughs> I don't know if mine's as hunky as the one uh, that uh, Janet has. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. We'll see you later. I'll post a quick picture. Bye.